Today we're going to talk about the Lean Six Sigma concept, DMAIC. Let's dive in. DMAIC is an acronym that summarizes a Lean Six Sigma methodology for solving difficult problems with existing processes. The phases provide a structure that makes success more likely. Each letter stands for a phase in the DMAIC process. The first phase is define. At the beginning, you might not even have identified what problem to work on. You'll often use DMAIC tools like Pareto analysis and supplier input process output customer diagrams to help understand which problems are leading to the biggest cost. At the end of the define phase, you typically produce a project charter that describes elements like who will work on the project, the project goals, the problem you're solving, and the benefits of achieving those goals. The next phase is measure. During the measure phase, you'll want to make sure that the methodology you have for measuring the process is adequate and can determine the current state of the process. You might need some of the more analytical DMAIC tools from measurement system analysis to help you decide when you are measuring well enough to understand the process to improve. As an example, perhaps you want to know how long it takes a medical resident to complete documentation aligned to a surgical procedure. If we don't presently measure this, you'll need to establish a baseline measurement to understand where you're starting. In this example, it becomes clear that you need to evaluate performance over time in this phase. Next is analyze. With the problem defined and the ability to measure the process in place, you are in a suitable position to look at what might be causing the problem. You might use a five whys analysis to refine the problem statement into a testable form. Once you have some good ideas, Designed experiments can verify that a potential cause has a significant effect. An example of what you might find in this phase is that over 80% of the downtime for a machine was due to only three problems, although more than 10 problems had been considered. Next up is improve. During the analyze phase, your understanding of the process will have solidified so that you know what changes to make to improve the process. During the improvement phase, you'll make sure to deliver those improvements to the full process. For an example, the analyze phase showed that operators had to hold too hard to keep it still, resulting in deformation of the part from three points of contact of the holding tool. In the improvement phase, the team used the DMAIC model to distribute a new tool that provided even pressure instead of pressure at three points. Last but not least is control. Now that you've improved your process, it's critical that you make these improvements part of the standard operating procedure. You'll come up with a control plan that describes the new process, and you'll implement a monitoring plan that lets you verify that all improvements are stable. While we generally hope that control charts at this phase show you a process that's predictable, it's important that the control phase also lets you know about process changes that represent opportunities for improvement. Now let's talk about some DMAIC tools. We'll often find that specific lean tools are common to use at particular phases of DMAIC. The following list gives a few common tools by phase, although it's important to note that tools can be used at any phase so long as they are providing value. During the defined phase, we'll often see the use of failure mode and effects analysis, process flowcharts, and project charters. During the measure phase, we'll often see the use of histograms and Pareto charts. During the analyze phase, we'll often see the use of five whys analysis, design of experiments, fishbone diagrams, and regression analysis. During the improve phase, we'll often see 5S use, Kanban use, Kaizen use, A3 process reports use, and error proofing use. During the control phase, we'll often see the use of control charts, standardized work, and statistical process control. We just went over the DMAIC model with some examples and prospective tools. For a more complete description of some of the most common tools for each phase, read our resource, Lean Six Sigma Tools and Techniques You Need to Know. To learn more about Lean Six Sigma, check out GoSkills' range of courses. Whether you're looking for a yellow belt, green belt, or black belt, GoSkills has information you can use to improve your processes and see your projects succeed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and check out goskills.com for more career boosting tips.